and welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. As always, this is Zuljan. So guys, last time we left off, we had just got our framework up for our little, um, I guess you could say log cabin slash camp. <laughs> and I am going to get some birch wood to do the walls. We're going to start off with light walls. I think that would be a really nice touch. The, um, the whole idea for a camp that I was talking about last episode, you guys, I have, well, in my family, we've always hunted and fished and stuff, and um, for years and years and years when I was a kid, we did nothing but uh, tent camping, and that kind of got old fast. And tent camping was, it was pretty cool sometimes, but what ended up happening is that hunting season would come around to, uh, really it would come around the winter time, kind of like October was, what I can remember was like squirrel season. Um, and I know some of you probably like squirrel season. Yeah, Cajuns. Well, I'm from Louisiana, so Cajuns do squirrels, you guys. That's what we do. <laughs> it's uh, it's not too weird when you think about it. It's just uh, they're they're kind of like I don't know how to explain it. If if some of you have eaten rabbit before, they're kind of like rabbit, except they're a little bit more tender, and to me, they're tastier. Uh, but what I ended up doing is uh, going camping all the time to hunt squirrels. Where is all my birch wood? Did we already use all of that? Oh no, I see it now. It's in my hot bar. Um, so all of the uh, all the time when we would go camp, it started to be around October, and man, was it cold! Like it was freezing sometimes. Um, a lot of people around here camp for recreation, so we did some of that too. Um, but camping in Louisiana for recreation, when it's uh, around summer or spring, it's really, really hot, actually. And um, it's, it's terrible because of the mosquitoes. So either you, you, you kind of screwed on both ends. There is a very small window of, uh, of good climate in Louisiana that usually happens uh, when spring is turning to fall. And it's actually really, really nice. Uh, when that happens, but um, most of the time we did not have uh, that luxury. It was it was pretty much uncomfortable, but still some good memories, you know. I remember um, my family going out there, and uh, my paran would drink a lot of beer, and my um, uh, they were kind of into partying. My paran and my nanny, uh, where my dad and mom were pretty reserved, um, but naturally I was a kid. I wanted to experiment, you know, so I would taste their beer and stuff like that, and. Uh, my cousin and I would ride four-wheelers. It was a really cool deal. Had a lot, a lot of fun doing that. Um, that was that's kind of our, like our recreation when we were kids. I did a lot of, um, I guess you could say, uh, just 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 messing around when I was a kid too. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. Did I really just mismeasure that? I did. I can't believe it's off. <laughs> this one too. Two, three, four. No, it's not off that way. Okay. Oh boy. That's what I get for trying to do commentary and build at the same time. But it's all good. <laughs> no problems. It'll just be. I don't know how I mismeasured that. I really don't. I was up top. And I counted. You guys probably watched me count it the other episode and was like, what the heck are you doing? That's ah, no big deal. So if you hear a little bit of uh, background noise, like I was saying before, we camp and everybody over here has big trucks, you know, so they can pull campers and stuff like that. And likely you'll hear um, the occasional loud engine noise because of all of the, uh, the large vehicles that everyone has around here. I don't have a large vehicle. I'm not a big truck guy. I am more like, um, I'm the guy with a little car. <laughs> he, uh, I like the gas mileage, you know. Okay. 
Uh, that's where I went with it before. This is what I need to do. Almost just did it again. That would have been something. Okay. And we're gonna have to take this tree out too. A lot of work on just on camera, you guys. I hope y'all like it. Like I said, it's um, <laughs> it's self-consciously I'm thinking to myself the whole time. Guys, you gotta be entertaining. Gotta be entertaining. Some people just want to see the game, you know. Um, especially people that play like on Xbox and Pocket Edition. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys. You guys just like the game. You know, like the build mechanics and the designs that you could come up with. And um, I like the relaxation that I get out of the game. You know, it's just, um, it's really natural to just sit back and play. Not to mention the amount of episodes that I can get out. For those of you that want to watch Vanilla Minecraft, you'll have plenty of it, you know. And you won't have a stressed out commentator. Just have somebody that's just enjoying the game right along with you. But, um... Yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to do when I was a kid. We were kind of well off, but my mom and dad were into, like, the hunting and fishing thing. Well, mostly my dad. My mom just kind of tagged along. Uh, but we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, my idea of fun was just kind of hanging out and playing um, on the swing sets that we had in the yard and stuff. And um, just, uh, just really being a kid, you know, going outside, riding my bike a lot. I rode my bike... Ooh, every day. Back in the day, it was pretty easy. Like, we didn't have any issues with um, bad neighbors or anything like that. I grew up in a decent neighborhood, and um, the cars tr drove slow down the subdivision road, so it was really, really easy to um, to ride my bike and not worried about getting run over, and my parents really didn't have to worry about either. Then we had a gated backyard, and I did a lot of things, too. Like, I just chilled out with my dogs, and I was always a big dog lover. I still am. I have a dog now named Hans. He's a, uh, we call him Hanna because that's kind of like a, a, I don't know, a pet name for him, you know. I'd say a pet name. He is a pet. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, he's he's a good dog. He's a white uh, schnauzer and um, a real cool guy. Has his very own personality and I um, we love him a lot over here. He came with me um, in my family now. I'm married and I have, um, my wife has... Um, a child and I claim her for my own now you know I take care of her too we're in this boat together so um, her name is Bailey and my wife's name is Tracy um, Bailey actually has a little YouTube account called Zuljin's Kid uh, it's kinda cool but she does a lot of uh, she likes to play Minecraft a lot too we don't really play a whole lot together um, just because our interests are a little bit different and I take it a little bit more seriously and not in a competitive way just um, in the video production way you know I never wanted to go the route with kids a lot of people get aggravated with kids um, their voices are a little aggravating and I'm, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit like when I watch a video and it's it's from um, someone younger uh, usually it's it's almost like I have this um, this thing in my head that they don't have much credibility with me because of their youth um, but really and truly that's it's it's not cool at all to do that because they have a lot of talented minecrafters uh, out there a lot of talented builders that or um, that are very young um, and when I say young I just mean like seven nine you know eight years old things like that um, I actually play and hang out with um, a couple younger guys uh, Bodog is real young and um, he plays Minecraft he's on the hypermind server with me um, and he's a pretty cool guy, very easy to get along with, and uh, he's come a long way. <laughs> it's nice to see him grow and develop. But, uh, so Boo, if you're watching, yep, I'm proud of you, kid. Uh, let's see. Kind of need to make another axe. I uh, almost have enough birch to at least get the walls up on this house. And then I should be good. And we'll probably go with... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the roof yet. We'll figure out something. Let's see. So six here, 24, okay. All right, so that's pretty much safety right there. Let's see, where is my workbench? Did I pick it up? I have, how many workbenches on me? Do I have any workbenches on me? 
I don't see any. My inventory is not even close to large and I still can't find simple items. I don't know. I thought I had a workbench on me. Oh, both of them are in here. How silly can you get, man? Gah! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm such a derp. Okay. So, rock and roll. And now, um, cool thing about doors, too. I don't know if it still works, but the zombies kind of keep away from the doors when you mount them differently. And I'm going to mount them like this. That way, it's a little bit... Um, actually, I want to do it the other way. I want to put it on the outside just like that. I wanted to let's see if I could do it. Let's see if I can make it do it like I want to. Yep, that's how I want it. No, even even one more out. That way it'll protrude. I want it almost like a uh, like that, but the other way. Yeah, I know. Four attempts for a door. Trust me, it'll be worth it. It's aesthetics, remember? That's it. That's it. You see? That shows texture. And it's in the wrong place. <laughs> we extended the wall for a reason, dummy. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go to bed, guys. It's getting late. <laughs> so next time we come back, we'll fix this door and uh, start playing a little bit with a, um, a ceiling and a roof idea. So stay tuned. We'll be back. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.